second try. Always happens on Fridays. Wonder why this thing just continues to act up on my ass. Anyway, Friday night. Yeah, I know kinda half prepared for going to bed after I'm, maybe after I make this video, who knows? Uh full plate more or less tonight. And basically spending time uh, going between the gnats and the caps. They were going head to, they were going head to head tonight. <laughs> as far as my TV viewing. Uh God, I'll start with the caps. Okay, it's game one. I said this is going six. You know, you expected a better effort. Five days rest, you know, it's just too much time. That's all it really is, it's just too much time. And I don't know if you can call it not being prepared. Not focused. I don't really particularly care. It was an interesting game. At least for, I guess, two periods. Um, uh, what was I going to say? Oh, God, I'm trying to think here. Oh, yeah. The uh, the goal they disallowed. Uh, Brooks White goal, which they disallowed. They, it's the right call. You know, it, it was kicked in. I'm not even arguing. But you know, it, it's like a, you know, but it's like I said at the start of all of this. Even before, I think it was Wednesday when I did this, when I last did a video. I said you don't underestimate. You don't go to sleep on Tampa Bay. I'm sorry. I said that before. They're too damn talented. You just saw that tonight. So, like I said, it's game one. I'm not panicking. Fuck this up Sunday. Uh, and I may be singing a different tune. Oh, God. Oh, so the other part of my little foray here. Um, the Nats. Who figured you were going to see Jason Marquis get the best of Tim Lysicum and not, not only on top of that, have a complete game? I said, oh, a complete game out of a Nationals pitcher. I thought we'd get a better chance of Bill Clinton getting a blow job from an intern before I see a complete game from a national pitcher. But that's what happened tonight. Uh, everybody did their part. Role players. Unbelievable. Lance Dix gets a home run. I said, these are role players, ladies and gentlemen, and you have to have them on every team. I don't care what sport you're talking about, but... You gotta have role players. You gotta got guy. You got to have guys who, in the immortal words of Dwayne Johnson, aka The Rock, know your role, shut your mouth. And finally, you finally the Nationals wake up these last two nights. Now after you know, completely, well, I will I will say partially. You know, Collapsing against the Mets, we should have swept that series. I tell you in plain English, that series we should have swept. Uh, circumstances beyond anybody's control, uh, fuck that up. One other thing, the umpiring across baseball, you got to, you got to really start thinking about expanding replay. To decide whether you reach base safely, you got to do that. Because they blew calls tonight. I mean, they honestly, to God, blew calls. They called Danny Espinosa out at second when clearly he was safe. The replay showed you that. And then. They call, I forget who, uh, I can't even think of who it was, uh, but they call, uh, uh, I'm out working here, uh, call the Giants player safe at first when clearly he was out. 
umpires. Ugh. It's going to be the death of this. You know, it's just, you're just going to have this where an umpire is going to fuck up a call and it's going to decide a World Series. If it hadn't already. What are you going to do? Be honest. What are you going to do? I want to sit here. I, I would sit here and talk about how the Redskins were doing in NFL draft tonight and last night, but you know, motherfuckers, they just keep trading down. I mean, I had a pick in the second round. I think there was one uh, in the third, but now you know they just, they they would have had another one in the third, but they traded that one down. Then I was like. I don't know what they say. It's like like ten picks now for the next uh, four rounds to borrow. And if you think I'm watching this at high noon? Screw you, ESPN. Screw you, NFL Network. Screw you, Roger Goodell. Now, of course, we get this uh, where the eighth circuit, the eighth U.S. circuit in St. Louis, has basically now sided with the owners. The lockout is back on, apparently. And if the lockout's on, why are we watching the draft? This is a fucking exercise in futility. We're not going to have football in the fall. I don't even know why we're, I, I, I don't even know why I'm caring. You know. Of course, I uh, should say what little I've seen, uh, I, I've seen of this draft or watching bits and pieces. The only reason I even care about it is just to see who the Redskins are picking. Uh, first two picks they had, they were dealing with uh, with the defensive line, uh, so they went with a wide receiver, yeah, and uh, I think, no, the, okay, wait a minute, it was the defensive line, it was, it was the first uh, pick there in the third round, or whatever, I can't even keep track anymore, <sighs> anyway, uh, not all that anything that would hold your interest. Uh, so now, of course, let's see. My, my, no, listen, I'm, I'm trying to think. My television viewing is a little clearer. I think it's clearer. <laughs> uh, Nats are on 4 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. The NASCAR race at 7. Th well, yeah, 7.30, I should say. So at least I'll be able to watch that. And at least that's the clear viewing on Saturdays. Uh, which, of course, Saturdays mean I'm not on here. I don't go to the computer, so I don't do this. Uh, oh, God, I don't even know what else to, to, to do here. Um, so I'm pretty much done. Uh, I can't think of anything else to do or, or to say. <laughs> so uh that's it uh that's all gonna say folks enjoy your weekend uh i'll leave you with the words uh if i was the lovely thing the nhl is doing with their, their ad campaign for the stanley cup playoffs they've done this whole thing you know it says history will be made and they've done like a whole series of uh moments from the past uh various tags to it. I love the ones they do. I, and I, I, I can remember which one this was. Uh, it's game seven in 95. Uh, I think it was the second round. They played the Flyers. The memorable moment is Dale Hunter putting it between Ron Hextall's legs to close out that series. The, the tagline being essentially that the year before the Flyers had done a number on the Cavs, you know, took, knocked them out of the playoffs. So this was retribution, and the tagline was, History Makes Amends. So I'm going to leave all of you with that. Uh, fellow DC sports fans we have on here across YouTube, this is going to be your mantra now. For this, for this round, this is your mantra. History makes amends. Now, if you're going to wonder why I say that, you got to think. Go back about, oh, seven years. Caps played Tampa. I think it was the second round. I think it was the second round. It had to be. 
But that series was remembered more, not only because Tampa took this, I think it was like seven games, but Ted Neonce has just screamed bloody murder because they, they, they said the NHL went to play a game on Easter Sunday. Which I can understand. And there's a valid point. You know, why are we doing any type of professional sport on Easter Sunday? I think even NASCAR doesn't race on Easter Sunday. You know, which I always think, you know, Ted Leonis has had a legitimate beef on that, but try convincing the NHL. But he, you know, but it was remembered in that year that he, he screamed bloody murder. They said they made him go and play in the place, this was at the Verizon Center, and the place wasn't even, I don't know, I don't even think it was even half full. I don't even remember. And it was one of the instances in that series that he screamed murder about. Uh, maybe he was playing back to back games. I don't even know what it was. And maybe it was maybe they were playing an early game on Palm uh, on Palm Sunday. I don't know which it was, but he screamed murder about it. And you know, Tampa won that series, won the Stanley Cup, and then the lockout was the following year. So if you wonder why I say history makes amends. Use it for this series. That should be our mantra. You know, besides Unleashed the Fury and everything else, that should be our mantra, Gaps fans. History makes amends. So I'm going to leave you all with that. I will see you when I do another one of these videos. It may be Sunday. Who knows? Um, if it is Sunday, I'll probably be doing it while the Caps game is on. It'll be like 7 o'clock Sunday night. So anyway, we will see you when I get around to it. So adios, motherfuckers. Enjoy your weekend if you can. And I will see you probably Sunday while the Caps game is going on. It would be just my luck. <laughs> At any rate, I'm out the, I'm out the door. door. Out the door? What the fuck am I doing? <laughs> okay, that's it, man. I've had, on, I, I've had a night here. <laughs> I uh, should see miracles of sorts. Complete game of a national picture. Go figure. All right, I'm done. Adios. Whatever.